This is my uh, first video ever made, so I'm kind of excited. Go easy on me, guys. It's my first one. So I'm going to be uh, teaching you guys how to paint in the sky. I've been painting for since I was 18, 31 now. I've been painting for quite some time. I started out with white and uh, added a little bit of blue. I want it to be a very bright blue. We're going to be doing the, uh, the horizon. You also notice that there's no music, and that's because just to avoid copyright issues, I had to remove all the sound. But uh, we got the blue paint, the light blue, and I just put it on. And like I said, it's going to be the horizon, and it's always brighter at the horizon, and then it gets darker as it gets uh, towards you, uh, as you go upwards. So I added just a little bit more blue, a little bit darker than the last color, and then you just kind of blend it in, like so. And uh, just keep rinse and repeat, do the same thing and just go darker uh, on the next layer. You want to keep it kind of wet so that it uh, uh, blends in, the two contrasting colors blend together. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and do that, add even more blue. And uh, just going to blend those colors out. See how you can kind of see a line there? blend that. That's why you want to make sure that the paint's wet. I'm using acrylic and so it dries pretty quickly. But uh, so you want to make sure you blend the, uh, the colors out pretty well when you're doing it. Uh, now I'm gonna add even more blue and uh, a touch of black just a little bit. Oh, and uh, you don't want them to uh, make it gray, but you just want it to be saturated just a little bit. Then finally, go even darker at the top. You just want to get that nice smooth transition. Um, yeah, like that. It's looking pretty good. At least by my standards. You should have something looking like this. You want to have that, that nice gradient from light and work your way up to the dark. And uh, as long as you have that gradient, you'll have that nice uh, distant effect. And I'm going to add a little bit of black and gray it down. I'm going to put in some, uh, some clouds. So it's just uh, a light blue, kind of like what we did in the beginning, with uh, some black to gray it down. This will be the shadow side of the cloud. And they're uh, the closer the clouds are to the horizon, the smaller they are. And the base of the cloud is, is like larger than the tops. It's, it's, uh, it's usually pretty flat too. Then as you get closer to the foreground, uh, they're obviously larger. And, uh, and the same thing, it's kind of floofy. You think of like popcorn or something. You know, it's kind of like puffy at the tops and like flat at the bottom. You can also just kind of go crazy with this real free. Just uh, watch it in. Uh, using the same color, it just appears brighter because it's contrasting on the darker colors on the uh, higher part of the sky because it got darker uh, as you went up. And, uh, just putting some more clouds along the base. Kind of these large clouds in the distance. And that's kind of our, our base color. Now I'm going to uh, add some more blue. And this is going to be the reflection of the sky on the clouds. Uh, so I'm just going to be brighter and a little bit more blue. Uh, and add some more white. I'm going to be painting the tops of the clouds. They'll be getting uh, light from the sky. So the, the, the parts of the cloud that's underneath won't be getting any of this uh, highlight paint. So I'm, and I'm just gonna kind of blend it in with my uh, finger like that, get kind of a nice gradient. Um, and you just wanna make sure you keep your darks at the bottom unpainted just cause it's that contrast of lights and darks that really gives it that three dimensional look. I put in a few other clouds here and there. You also want to add uh, light, lighter areas in the areas that are less dense. So if you have like a big cloud, a big fluffy cloud, there'll be more shadows at the base because there's less light shining through it. But if it's like a small cloud, 
Uh, there'll be more light um, penetrating it. That's a really weird word to say, but uh, gonna go even lighter. Same thing. Uh, still, it's kind of it's the highlights of the uh, sky. It's even brighter. So we're going to be putting that in. Just layering the lights on top of uh, darker shades, but you don't want to uh, make. You don't want the highlights to uh, go on the darkest shadows, deepest shadows, where the uh, where it's not getting any of the skylight. I'm just you just want to build upon the parts that's getting the skylight. So you get something like that, so you get kind of like that tr smooth transition. Yeah. And uh, since the sun's coming from this painting from the left side. Uh, the left side of the cloud will be um, illuminated by the light source, and also the tops too, like so. Got quite a few clouds done, almost done. Uh, working on those uh, clouds in the distance as well. But yeah, as I was saying, the, the denser clouds have more shadow to them. Now we're going to do the highlights, so this is going to be where the sun's hitting the clouds, and this is what makes them really pop. I'm just using pretty much pure white, and like I decided, it's coming from the left side, so any part of the cloud that's facing the left side is going to be illuminated by uh, the sun. So we're going to start putting that in, put it in right there. As you can see, it's a big difference. It uh, makes the clouds really pop. still want to preserve the darks uh, underneath. And the uh, any part of the cloud that you want to be facing the right side will also not be um, colored in with the white highlight. You know, give it some form. And, uh, just paint it all in. It's very freeing. There's no real particular way to paint a cloud. You can paint any shape you want. You just want to keep in mind lights and darks and where the light source is coming from. And I also just blend it in with my finger. Going at it. Hopefully this, uh, this tutorial helps you out and uh, hope you like and follow.